I'll be Canadian and say both. And what I mean by that is, if you look at a benefits program, some of it is pure insurance. And we'll, we'll use some obvious examples like a catastrophic drug claim, right? Someone, you know, knock on wood, doesn't happen, but if it does, it's catastrophic in nature. Uh, or Crohn's and colitis, or whatever illness may be that's, um, you know, that's more catastrophic. And then the other side of benefits is more reimbursement. Vision care, massage, chiropractic, dental, not as life-threatening as the catastrophic, preventative for sure, but very different as far as what's insurance and what's not. And insurance by its definition is something unforeseen, unpredictable. Some reimbursement like vision care, if you're wearing glasses today, it's very foreseen and predictable that you'll be wearing glasses next year. So it's not an insurance uh, or unforeseen probability. So this is where I kind of go to the idea of having a com combination of both and philosophically as an owner, where do you want to sit in that? Do you want to create a program to protect, protect against the catastrophic big ticket items that are detrimental to one of your employees? Or is it more important to you to cover the day-to-day -day expenditures that are unaffordable or very expensive, uh, not life-threatening, but your employees might value you because it's an expense that they have today? Couple that with the, uh, you know, the concept of turnover being much higher than it used to be, you kind of sometimes, and, and there's nothing wrong with some employers leaning one way or the other depending uh, on how and what turnover looks like in the organization.